Bullets Tuesday. Right. <laughs> we we try not to be boring, especially on the Tuesday shows, and sometimes they have a nasty habit of getting on it. We're going to analytical. We're going to be a little analytical, but mm -hmm. we're going to try to not be boring about it. Right. When last we spoke, we were looking at all these different scales right. that are all based on the imperial system mm -hmm. of uh, 12 inches equals a foot and how those derived into all these different scales. Right. Now we want to come back to the Society of Model Engineers mm. and all of these 11 uh, track gauges that they created. Right. And at first, these track gauges seem kind of, what would you say, random? A little bit. I yeah, would say random. Random. <laughs> so up to me. <laughs> why, why for O gauge did they pick one and a quarter inches? Mm. And then they jump straight to one gauge at 1.75 inches. Right. Uh, two gauge at two inches makes sense, but right. oddly enough, that's the one gauge they came up with that almost doesn't make any sense, even mm. though on, on the first blush it appears to. Three gauge at two and a half inches. Were these guys just into randomly picking random numbers? Should, were they algebra teachers? Or were they algebra? <laughs> I mean, shouldn't one gauge be one uh, inch or something like that? I mean, why did they think? pick these really weird numbers? Mm. Well, it's because, uh, as we talked about last week, there are these imperial systems, 1 12th scale, 1 24th scale, 1 32nd scale, and they wanted to plug their gauges into specific scales scales which had already been around for you know many many years at least 75 years before these guys ever dreamt of doing what they were doing so they wanted to come up with track gauges that corresponded with known modeling scales right and so o gauge at one and a quarter inches uh, they decided would be 1 48th scale, 1 quarter inch scale. Oh. See how simple, except, except. As, except as we know, standard standard gauge is 4 feet 8 and a half inches. Right. So they cheated. They took the, the standard gauge back to 5 feet where it had started out at in, you know, before 1825. Right. Uh, all these railroads are being built to a five foot gauge and they just said if we if we go with five feet the math gets simple okay so they cheated and they said we'll say standard gauge is not four feet eight and a half inches standard gauge is five feet therefore these numbers will just line up so o gauge at one and a quarter inches works out to 148 scale oh number one gauge at one and three quarters inches the reason they picked one and three quarters inches is that lands right on 130 seconds and that scale. makes sense so these numbers are not arbitrary they were picking these known scales then like i said well how come two is an irrational scale number two gauge is two inches well, number two gauge at two inches works out to one thirtieth scale. Oh, weird. And nobody How? even then was doing one thirtieth. No. So probably one of the members of the group was doing one thirtieth or two inch gauge. And mm. so they said, well, that works out to thirtieth. And isn't that wonderful? And mm. the other younger, other members were going, well, no. But Dare to be different. Politics <laughs> being politics, they, they, they codified number two scale number two gauge and number two scale is one thirtieth scale at two inches right okay so number three gauge two and a half inches well that's our old friend one twenty fourth right one twenty fourth one half inch scale right works out to um two and a half inches right at five feet so hmm. of course Number four gauge at three inches is one twentieth scale. Mm. Somewhat more obscure, but not bad. Right. Number five, let's just jump ahead to five, because again, some of these things sort of fell off the rails. A little to use bit, a, to yes. use a pun. So some of these scale and gauge combinations didn't really take off, like number two. Right. Five 
took off as the most popular ride-on scale in the early days. Five inches in gauge. Mm -hmm. Well, that's one inch equals one foot. Well, that's one twelfth scale. Oh, okay. the, the basis of all these other scales. Mm. One inch scale. Right. One twelfth scale. Um, number seven gauge at seven and a half inches works out to one eighth scale. Hmm. So again, not arbitrary, hmm. except for the somewhat arbitrary factor that they rounded the scale off to five feet instead of sticking with four feet, eight and a half inches. Wow. Okay, so it was a cheat. <laughs> yeah, just a bit. Make and it easy and right from the earliest days, people were going, Wait a minute. But but there's a fudge factor there. I mean, I enjoy fudge at Christmas, but right. I don't enjoy fudge in my math. You're fudging the math. Unless you start cutting that into two inch squares. <laughs> <laughs> Which is a two inch scale? No, that would be a high. Anyway, we don't. Well, it would be a pan squared. A pan squared, exactly. <laughs> Pi R squared. No, what a brownies pie. definitely are. Brownies are so square, are pi are, are round. Yeah, all okay. rectangular. <laughs> They're all rectangles. But, but <sighs> in order to keep the math simple, they went to five foot gauge and said standard gauge is not four feet, eight and a half, it's five. Right. And uh, a whole bunch of purists started jumping on their their case immediately saying you can't do that right this is supposed to be 148th scale this is o scale mm. and it's five foot gauge right that's wrong oh so how are we gonna fix that and so right from the get-go people were saying well we gotta now cheat it back because they cheated it up to five now we gotta cheat it back to four feet eight and a half inches but that <laughs> as paul harvey would say is the rest of the story oh my into all of these different scales and gauges because one of the things that started out immediately was people figuring out how to cheat five feet mm -hmm. back to four feet eight and a half oh inches my gosh. because they cheated oh wow and yet to this day we're we're still using those cheated scales that they came up with in 1896 out of somewhat out of necessity right or just to keep the math simple i guess you wouldn't call that necessity unless you're like me and you're not very good at math and that i would say cheating at math is a necessity almost <laughs> almost. almost get that algebra teacher back <laughs> yeah Yes, indeed. Well, anyway, if you <laughs> if you haven't been over to the channel, please pop over to the channel. And if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Right. And the, the easy way to subscribe is with the blue button. Are we ready for the blue button? Zoink. Right there, the blue button. Right. Well, we're not sure how you found this very interesting and hopefully not boring video on the internet. We hope you didn't find it boring. No. And we will see you on Sunday with some Sunday foolishness. Right. We'll see you. See ya. Bye bye. Bye.